you came in to St. Lucia and you came to May's studio and you saw that big banner with your face on it. What was your perception? What do you think about the whole thing about you being a cover girl for the photo shoot and St. Lucia? What is your feeling? Well, that's two separate things. To see the banner with my face on it, I was like, cool, that is so <laughs> cool. And then to be the cover model is, is very flattering. I mean, she is something, coming up as a, as a Caribbean model, she is in your vocabulary. It's something you know about as a Caribbean model. Caribbean model. It's, yeah, exactly. So to be able to be the cover of she is a very cool. And it's a special 10th edition. Very exciting. Exactly, and the anniversary edition. 10th anniversary, which is sorry. Which is really, really an honor. Um, and I'm very excited about it. I can't wait to see it and to buy a cover. <laughs> so Leo, how did you get started in modeling? I started with Barbados Fashion Week. I actually didn't want to be a model. My first uh, magazine I did with She, which was in 2006. Yeah, actually, they did a feature on uh, Keyboy, uh, Keyboy Magan, who was a model in Jamaica. And I was there at the time and we did a shoot together. And that's the first magazine show. I had no experience, and I think if you look at the magazine, you can see that. Right. So you're not only here being the model for the cover of the Chic Tank Anniversary issue, but you're here for another reason. Tell us about the other reason. Yes, I'm also hosting a show called Splash, which now shows on Centric. And Splash started as Wicked Style, which was on BTJ before, mm -hmm. and I. I started with that, I started hosting with that, and now it's developed into a new Caribbean lifestyle show um, with a twist. And uh, we're in St. Lucia, covering St. Lucia. What do you do for fun? What does it do? You do? <laughs> for fun, I watch movies, and then it really isn't for fun because <laughs> I watch movies to get angles, camera angles, and so, so still I don't, working. I just, yes, I don't just watch the story. I see, I watch everything around it, how the shot was composed. So, as the people's favorite in the Miss World pageant, how did you feel about not winning? I mean, be honest. I mean, be as truthful as you can be, Leah. What was your emotions about not winning? Well, it was a it was a month long experience, and over that, you go through various emotions. At one point, you you go through high points and you go through low points. Just to be the favorite, the people's choice of Miss World was such an honor. You can imagine 111 girls, and they chose me as Miss Barbados. I, that alone, I'm very comfortable with. Um, but I, I noticed my performance. I could not have done anything about it. I had, there, I had no control over it, and I, I recognized that. I recognized that the, the competition night, and I was okay with that. I did very well for Barbados. Barbados got major exposure. I was continental queen of the Caribbean, which is something Barbados has never won. And I was so very happy with that. I, there, there's nothing more I could have wanted. I would have wanted to win, but outside of that, I mean, I couldn't ask for anything more.